Hello everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games, I'm your host Rocky2815 and today is day number 13 of our LEGO Star Wars 2015 Christmas Advent Calendar and my goodness me, that is still a mouthful to say but anyway, let's open door number 13 and see what's behind it and goodness me, 13, one of my most unlucky numbers Okay, here's door number 13 with the Millennium Falcon flying by with some sort of reef attached to it. And if you saw day number 12 video earlier today, um, well, you'll know that there's a Stormtrooper actually stuck in this reef, which I thought was pretty funny. But anyway, let's get door number 13 open and... It's that Bounty Hunter guy, you know, the droid Bounty Hunter from Star Wars Episode 5? I've forgotten his name already. It, it was a very complicated name with numbers in. But anyway, let's get him open. Also, before we open this, um, earlier today I released Day... 12 video and if you're wondering why it didn't release yesterday on its proper day please go back and watch that video if you already haven't because uh, I explain everything in that video and I don't want to explain it all again because yeah I just recorded day 12 before this video and my throat is getting really sore but anyway, let's build this Bounty Hunter droid. So, you got the legs, you got the feet, you got the arms. You know, simple, look, normal droid parts. You need arms and legs. And then we got the weirdest of heads. We got this, like, claw piece. And then we get this well, it was sort of, yeah, it's a cone-shaped piece, I guess you would call it. I was going to call it a triangle from, you know, this way up, but not really. But anyway, so, that, like that, with a translucent orange stud. Now, does he look complete? No, because we need to pop this on top of here, here and then those are like his eyes, and we do get a spare arm. A spare gr dark grey, mid grey, whatever you want to colour, you want to call it stud, translucent orange stud, and a claw. But let's get a nice zoomed in image of him. And cool. Very pleased with this minifigure today, and I wonder what will be in day number 14 tomorrow. So let's put him. Back in the box and outro the video. Okay, let's hope he stands up. Ooh, he's a bit tall. To yeah, he's a bit tall. So what I'll do is I'll put him like that. So he's like holding onto the box and because this is like cardboard, as you can see, his feet are poking out in day. Number five, but never mind, he was really too tall to fit in the box in the first place. They should have probably thought of that before. Well, the Lego company should have probably thought of that before including this minifigure in this calendar. Like, I'm happy with the minifigure, but he is genuinely too tall to fit in. Maybe if they made the box a bit taller, because th this space is empty it might have made the box a bit weaker yes actually it would have but at least he would have <laughs> fit in properly but anyway thank you everybody so much for watching day number 13 of our lego star wars christmas 2015 advent calendar and i'm getting better at saying that hopefully and until next time remember to leave a like favorite share subscribe to the channel comment and also, until next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and bye -sies.